Hi everyone, Tracks again. Welcome to the weekly mailbox episode 13. As of last week, as soon as you see this video and you know it's uploaded, I'll be on Discord. The link will be in the description and I will add it in the comment section for when I get off as well. Uh, you can come in, you can come and chat, suggest stuff, ask a few questions, you need help with something, you want to know something extra, or you just want to come and say hi, have a talk. Feel free to come by on Discord. You don't need a mic to follow what's going on. Maybe you can pick up a few hints, pick up a few tricks. And so it's time to uh, empty the mailbox again. I'm on my uh, Traxmogger, my Transmog seller. I have 144.6k. I had 152 last week. So that means I... How much did it take? How much did it cost? Five and a half K to keep posting all of my stuff. I'm around 550, between 550 and 600 uh, postings each day for transmogs. So yeah, it depends on, on, on the values. If it's too low, I'm not going to post some, some uh, items. And when the price is right, am I, am I, I'm going to be the cheapest one. Wow. Where are my words going? Um, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> so if I'm the cheapest on everything, it will be over 600 postings. So I sold 20 transmogs this week. It didn't do any additional farming because I'm working on the series and crafting as well. So let's see. This one, that's a Pandera one. But if you look at here, what is it here? Dark Star and Stone Crag, Saber Maw. That's still from from the Draenor farm that I did. And all of the rest, well, you got some Myrmidon Bracers. That's classic Bloodlust Gauntlets also. You have some, you have a variety of stuff. Tuxedo, that's a crafted one. Just try and sell anything and make sure if the price is too low, just keep it if you have the banking space that is. Otherwise, you're just going to hold on the more expensive stuff. What is the most expensive one I got in here? 2.9 Bloodlust Gauntlets. Yeah, that should be it. Let's pick up the mail. 11k. So jumping up again. So I'm coming up to... 155 so that's only 3k profit well at least it's, it's profit and let's see what it did what was it again auctioning sales unknown item wow bloodlust gauntlets here we are let's see what is this item level 55 can I see how it looks nice red hands that's why it's more expensive people going for a red transmog well that's about it for this character not so much going on for this week so we are going to jump to my main seller and i have a few things to say about that so first of all let me see how much gold do i have one point fifty nine this is a decrease of 750,000 gold, which means one, I had to buy a token, obviously, like everyone does every month. And let's go over to Trade Skill Master. Let me show you what I bought for the last seven days. What did I buy? No, oh, no, I need expenses. Sorry, that was sales last seven days so obviously fish cheap fish needs to be bought and needs to be flipped Felworth, an investment infernal brimstone an investment dread leather footpads of the quick blade because it was very cheap 499 and what's the price 1.6 so that's 1100 investment some more silver mackerel, medallions of the legion, because they were cheap, like 7,000 gold. Spirit of Harmony, eternal life from my flipping group. You can see more coming in of those. 
more 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 fell hide infernal brimstone and then what we see fell bad pup one what else some more pets more fell bad pups what else what else what else let's see yeah it's all <laughs> it's almost all the same here spirit of harmony this stuff arctic fur and crusader orb for crafting transmogs that is uh some more pets where are the where are the ones i'm looking for it's oh wait because i said back to previous it's not on the last seven days anymore let's go down and start from here so we got we saw the pets here we are pocket fell spreader see the prices here bought a few of those and then the fell bat pups those two and why because these are remaining from the legion invasion pre expansion event <clears throat> and soon the vendor that sold the items for nether shards is going to disappear now you would say hey i can go to armies of the legion fall and do a few quests and i get nether shards but this is from characters you played with during the pre-launch event which means the nether shards you have gathered then it's not because you have 5000 uh, nether shards now that you can still buy them this vendor is going to disappear these will not be will not be coming new into the game as uh, except when you have a character that uh, participated in the pre 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 legion event those people can still buy it if you can't buy it anymore no new will be added onto the auction house that means the price will go up on these that's why i invested about half a million in pets and toys but i did it on multiple servers so this is a long investment don't think this is something you can sell in a few weeks and get a large amount of profit this may take up to a year but because i got the gold i can do this sort of stuff so i got what is it four pocket fell spreaders so the toy is going to go up in price just need to remember I bought one very high and then a few cheaper. I just bought out the entire market on that moment. And then also fell bad pups. I bought the entire market as well. Um, and I bought it on a few on a few servers. So I got a little bit of a, a small investment. So now to the mailbox. Going to throw my chat next to it going to increase the font size like always and you can see I have 119 mails the problem again no BOE sales I dropped the price in the Shiraz BOE list so my max price and normal price has been lowered so I can make well I'm not going to make uh, more profit out of them I'm going to return my investment because I flip so much BOEs, I already make profit. Even if I sell them at the price I bought them for, I still have a nice profit out of these. I would still pick up 2 million just by selling all the BOEs at the price they have now. So that's what I'm aiming for. Get rid of all the BOEs, hoping that people need them, hoping that someone else is going to still try and flip them and get rid of them before Legion is over. So... What do I got here? Let's open it up. I did a lot of crafting this week. You can see it. Enchant ring, imbued silk weave robe, dread leather bindings, warhide pants, some more enchants, mastery and haste. Imbued silk weave flourish. That's a cloak, I guess. Enchant cloak. I sold some fell hide because the market was empty. I checked them every now and then. And I sold, uh, I bought fellworth. Infernal Brimstone just to make sure I can still craft toys because these will be expensive or more expensive after Legion is over. Because, well, not a lot of people will be doing the profession farms because they will do be doing new content, me as well. So I got like, how much? 600 fell height 
500 Felworth and 600 Infernal Brimstone in my guild bank. So what else did I sold? Enchant Cloak, Fiendish Polders, Dreadletter Mask, High Mountain Salmon, Dreadletter Belt, High Mountain Salmon, Dreadletter Belt, Silver Mackerel, Enchant Cloak, Binding of Intellect, Moss Gill Purge, Demon Steel Stirrups, Leather Pet Bet, Another Enchant, Eternal Life 2 from my flip group, Dreadletter Mask, a BOE, yes, <laughs> a BOE, not so expensive, Dreadletter Footpaths, Footpaths, Eternal Water, four times, Shadow Silk, a stack of four, Silver Mackerel, Graven Scale, Warhide, Enchant Cloak, a pet, Graven Scale, Girdle, Warhide Jerkin, another pet, Primal Life, three times, Primal Water, Enchant Rings, so somebody is going to raid, or looking forward to raid, or wants to flip Binding of Versatility, but, nah, Versatility doesn't isn't used that much some enchant rings another boe again smaller profit but it's a sale enchant rings rune scale coys enchant rings uh, silver mackerel enchant cloak flask of the whispered pact saber's eyes two times enchant cloak seven of furies that i had lingering i have too much doubles uh, for the dark moon card set enchant ring primal fire another pet Eternal Water, Black Barracuda, Eternal Fire, Dreadlet Jerking, uh, Enchant Rings, Primal Water again, Primal Life, and the total gold amount collected is 268. If you count out the investments I made, I didn't spend that much on flipping. This would be almost pure profit because I do a lot of farming. I'm going to show you my group. Just so you can see how I set it up. So first of all, I've, I'm going in slowly but steady into the pet market. I have to see which one I'm on. Okay, I'm first going to start with a crafting one. So this is actually my new profile. I'm making a new profile. So what have I got? I got my fish in here. And I remodeled the operations. So what have we got now? What I'm going to do is my minimum price will be first to check 100% of my average buying price. So I always make profit. If that is lower, it's going to check the 100% DB market range for a minimum price. Maximum price 300% of my average buying price and normal price 200%. I don't have fish in here right now. Let me go back. So let's see, storm ray la uh, purchased average is 20 gold 78. So it's going to at least sell it for 120% of that value. 20% of 20 is, is that, oh my God, where is my math going? <laughs> so it's 0 0.2, blah, blah, blah. Um, 20% I said, yeah, that's like, one gold so it's going to sell them for 21 at least and it's going to list 10 stacks of 100 need to post more storm rays with storm rays um not much storm rays on the auction house then what do i have here well this is more for looking them up don't really have a sale operation see no auctioning operation i got the boe's i modified the group if you go into these and you go to the operation legion boes so what have i got here i'm normally is going to check them for 106 percent of the average buying price so that's your investment minus five percent cut off plus one percent so it's going to give you one percent profit if you if you uh, the, subtract the auction fee cutoff. Maximum price used to be 300. Normal price used to be 200. So I'm towing down on on the profit to be made. What else? Let's go into crafting. Yeah, this is not complete. This is from all the characters I have. I have all prof all professions. 
So I make a few things, put it into the list. Like here, leatherworking, dread leather belt. The more, I just started with this, the more of the stat, uh, the difference one of D, like here, fever flare, quick blade. Yeah, I made two belts this week. The operation is as following. Because I farm all this stuff, it's not bought, it's not that I'm flipping this by buying this, crafting this and putting it, putting it back on the market. Um, my minimum price is the most expensive one of these two. Or it is 70% of the DB market or it is 75% of the crafting cost. My maximum price is 200% DB market and 180% of the crafting cost. So let's say it's 800 gold DB market, 1000 gold crafting price. It's going to list it for 750. Maximum price, if it's 1000 DB market and it's it's 1000 gold crafting cost, it's going to post it for 2000 gold. If the DB market is 500 gold and crafting cost is 1000, it's not going to list it for 1000, it's going to list it for 1800. So it's going to take the max value out of these two. And what else did I do? I have to look a little bit. Yeah, I added also the older stuff. I need to go to another profile, the pet group. This is also from uh, Shira. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> okay, and then for the pets, what do I have here? I altered the shopping operation that was in there 50% average global I changed this to 25% of the average price showing for the, the highest price DB market what is it DB historical DB region market average and I changed just for this server hello battle pets I changed it up to 100% DB market. It, um, I changed it to 100% DB market instead of the long text that was there and the large, the, the long formula. Um, just to make sure, I buy these at 25% of the region market value and I post them for at least 100 DB market value on my server. So I'm hoping to do smaller flips of these. What I could do as well is I go to battle pets. And then I would say like here for a shopping operation, 10% of the DB region market value and then auctioning minimum price for at least 100% DB region market value. And choose to not post it when it's below that. And if I see that the price for a certain item is too low for a long time, I can learn the pet, go to another character, another server, cage it, post it there if if it's uh, according to parameters. So if it is 100% DB region or let's say 80% DB region, then it's going to post it over there. So that's the thing I'm going to test with and that's about it for the video. So. I made profit, but I did uh, a half a million gold investment and then also bought a token. It's not half a million, it's 450 gold investment, 450 and then the token. And yeah, I can say I'm happy about it because the first time that I really do um, try to keep up with the crafting stuff, I still have to do blacksmithing, I still have to do engineering. I have to redo jewel crafting because I so I'm sold out. I need to keep up with enchanting, but I'm going to stick to more. I'm going to stick more or less to ring enchants because it's very costly in Bloods of Sargeras. And also I have to do alchemy, and I have to keep keep completing my group and try to get more stuff up. I also have the glyphs too have to craft a few again but I do have the glyphs you can see here profit range is minus 1000 for the price that is up now normally market value is 3.4 I have one up for 
the crafting cost so it's uh, 2500 minus a few on the crafting cost 75 percent so it would be up for 2.2 but that's not the market value market value was 70 percent of 3400 so it will be posted for more than the crafting cost that's how the group works because it's a minimum posting price so i will never do um never lose gold on crafting this stuff if i do keep up with gathering okay that's it for the video don't forget i will be on discord as of the start of this video so feel free to jump in thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time happy gold hunting